Hello everyone, my name is Fortune, and we're back with some more Undertale. Today we're going to start the rerun of the genocide run, since the one I recorded previously went to shit. Yeah, uh, let's just be honest here. The bosses kicked my ass, I couldn't do anything about it, and I stopped recording, like, literally 10 minutes before I beat the bosses, so I didn't get the actual footage of it. So it just, you had nothing to, like, go off. So this time, since I've... It's been so long since I played the game, and actually, a friend of mine uh, uh, that had already beaten a certain boss came over, and we we're going we're like finishing the run, and I beat that boss in like four tries. So <laughs> that's why I'm doing this again because I know I can do it fast this time, and I might not have much time to record right now, but um, I figured that at least I could start this and then. Like finish it another day because I'm I'm not uploading the other one I had the true name Chara. If you didn't know, if you played the pacifist run, you'd know that the character you play as is not the character you named, and the character you named is the character that's known as Chara. So that's why it's the true name. Well, at least presumably it's that's why. If not, then I don't know. It just makes sense in all reality. Now, I recorded something with Amanda a couple days ago, and oh hey. Why am I even reacting? I haven't, haven't seen you before. <laughs> I uh, recorded some Dream Get Me Amanda a couple of days ago because my computer is now fully functional. It's a DDR4 board. Uh, it has a Skylake uh, 6700K processor. From an in it's an Intel uh, i7, of course. So it's a lot more processing power than the last system had. Howdy, a flower, flower, the flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That is your soul. The very combination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you get a lot of love. What's the love stand for? Why, love, of course. Why, no. Why, level of violence, of course. You want some level of violence, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, level of violence is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. How about now? Hey buddy, you missed him. Let's try again, okay? Is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets! Fill in bullets. You know what's going on here, don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. Die. Speed run. <laughs> just getting close to it makes it go faster, which is nice. Hello, Toriel. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come! I will guide you through the catacombs. Of course, I went this way. Of course, I've already done all of this, but I figured that instead of like being bored, I skipping all the dialogue, I might as well just... At least do the flowy one, because that's not something I did the first playthrough, and you have probably haven't seen it if you have not played the game, so... Wait, can you even... can you read this sign? Okay, you cannot. That's annoying. Ugh. And those tenants being really buggy to me right now. The ruins are full of puzzles. And I already know that. And I'll... fuck up your puzzle, thanks. Yep. That's the... Wait. What? On the f okay, never mind. I thought it said something else, and I was like, did that really change? I haven't even killed anything yet. <laughs> Stay on the path. So yeah, genocide is basically kill everything. Everything that falls, spawns, everything that moves... Like, ever. You just kill it. It's a fun time. Not. And this game is being a lot, lot louder now than I remember the last time I recorded. I think there's like a. Uh... Yeah, I turn on the sound of my headset. That probably makes sense to do. 
did it change the volume of the actual computer? It did. So I can't do that. Well, whatever. Such is life. Hey, dummy. How about you fight me, bruh? Fight me. Fight me. You're nothing. Ah, the dummies are not for fighting. They're for talking. We don't want to hurt anybody, do we? Come now. Oh, I don't at all. Not at all. There's another puzzle in this room. I already solved it. It's just you putting a frog in my face. Oh, look, a frog. It. <laughs> now, let's hope we get this in one shot, or else we can't kill it. Oh, yes. Okay, the first time I tried doing this, that didn't happen, and that kind of screwed me in the end. It was not a good time. But basically, like, it doesn't actually stop your genocide run, but I thought it would. But I wasn't actually playing genocide, I was playing neutral, and I just didn't know it. Like, I played through neutral run in three hours, and then I went back and I was like, this is awfully short, is this really genocide? And I looked it up and I was like, oh, I didn't do anything right at all, because I only killed stuff I bumped into, I didn't actually deplete all the spawns, which is what you're supposed to do. That not something you'd probably think about anyway. There's probably something... Some people probably do that, did an accident, like, they wanted to farm some gold and XP up, and then, oh, everyone's dead, and this really creepy music is going. Like, it's set up for people that... Really good setup for people that do, uh, do that stuff on a purpose, but they just don't think about the consequences. Like, like in a uh, normal RPG. You would just kill stuff and you wouldn't really care about uh, how those things actually affect, affected the world around you. But in this game, you have to. Just gonna go ahead and um, flirt. Huh? Oh, ha, 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 ha. How adorable! I could pinch your cheek. You could certainly find better than an old woman like me. No, I can't. I'm not gonna. You're the only one I know. You're literally the only person I know. Call her mom. This is Toriel. Huh? Did you just call me mom? Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy? To call me mother? Well then, call me whatever you like. And then... The ultimate. Oh dear, are you serious? And after you said you want to call me mother? You are an... Interesting child. Yep, you can do that. I'm pretty sure she doesn't even say anything else. Like, you do the hello thing, but it'll just, it's just annoying and doesn't really worth anything. So let's just keep moving. But yeah, like, I enjoyed it, but it's just like, when I came to that certain boss that I got stuck on, uh, we had like a bunch of background noise, so I figured that either way, it's better to just do another one. I'm, I'm doing genocide, I don't care about how much candy I take, I'm just gonna take all of it. And now, farming strats. Standing still. You earned basically nothing. And this is how you farm in this game for genocide, you just kind of walk in place. Which basically what you do is you hold the direction, and then you open the steam overlay. And that will make you walk in place. And you can actually click out of the window and it'll just walk by itself. But if you're still in the window, you have to actually hold the button in. You can't just like leave it do whatever the fuck it wants to. You actually have to do something about it, but... Like it's super easy, it's not really a big deal. This is what I basically did for genocide, so it took a while, like, getting to that boss took less than it would have given for me to get into that area if I played a normal run. So, really, genocide is just one of the shortest runs, but they kind of make, like, the bosses kind of make up for it by the playtime, because you're going to sit there for fucking ages. And I learned that pretty quickly, but now I know the patterns of the bosses, and I can pretty much remember their patterns as long as I would like to. So, that's why I'm doing this right now, because I know that I can do this pretty well. As opposed to before, where I just got my ass handed to me, and I suck a fart. Yep, I suck the fart. That's really the only thing I did now, run. Hey, froggy. Dead froggy. I'm so mean. I also found out that um, after doing my pacifist run, which of course at that point it would be too late to do anything because I completed it and I went through the freaking outro and everything. But after I was done with the outro, 
uh, I, f I found out that you could actually get you could actually go back to to Azrael. Wait, what the hell am I talking about? You haven't even seen that. What am I talking about? That run doesn't exist. Okay, uh, basically, <laughs> I didn't do that in the recording itself, but you can actually go back to the ruins after completing a pacifist run with the true pacifist and everything before you go to the outro. And Azrael will be in the first room you spawn in. But I, I did that when I uh, first started recording. Well, the run I thought was genocide was actually just neutral. When I started recording that. Uh, I did that first, that just went back to the ruins and stuff. But Azrael isn't there if you reboot the game. So, if you do the pacifist ending, remember to go back before closing the game. It's very important. I didn't realize that, but I know now. Not like I'm not gonna have use for that information, but because <laughs> I'm not gonna do it again. Well, I'm gonna do another pacifist after genocide for reasons I'm not gonna say yet. I, I'll say it when I'm done with the run, so I, I still not spoil anything. But there's definitely a reason for me doing it. I wasn't even aware there was a run that existed, but. A friend of mine, which I I basically gave him a log of everything I did in the genocide, and I had to get my ass kicked. And he was like, "Dude, if, if you can't get past that boss, how could you do anything else?" And I was like, "Well, I'm screwed, ain't I?" But I've luckily actually made it through everything. If only I have done a. If only this was my first run, so I would be able to react to everything again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my initial reactions to, uh, to stuff from the previous recordings. Like, into uh, uh, when editing these videos. To put them in there and then be like, this is what happens first time I saw this, and then blah blah blah. That just, like, there's not really anything else I can do with the footage. I would figure I had to do something with it, right? I'm supposed to just let it li sit there for no reason. If you have it, then use it, I guess. It's the whole lesson of that. That being said, I'll probably just edit out. Some of this farming, I'm not sure if I want to yet though, because it it gets you, you get the waterfall lots faster while doing genocide. Although you have to do all this grinding, because when you've done it, like no more enemies are going to spawn. So, and it kind of makes so you don't have to like bump into anything, and you can just run through the place. And then, and there's a lot of stuff I did in Pacifist that I'm not gonna have any reason to do now, like the piano puzzle and stuff like that. It's already done it, and there's not, it doesn't really carry over. It's just a thing that's cool and nice and stuff. <laughs> cool and nice and stuff, yeah. Indeed. One thing I want to check when I do the last pacifist run is if... Because the door in... Um, the door in... Um, snowy area. I, I don't know, like, it's not all snowed in. Snowy is a town, but I don't know what to call the snow area itself. It's just a snowy area, uh, basically. But in there, like, the big door that was in the cave, where, in the area where Sans just kind of teleported in front of you, yeah, that place, uh, you have to not get hit by any of the credits for the pass from a pacifist run to be able to unlock that door. But I, what I'm wondering is, and I'm pretty sure that would be how it works, because Toby designed the game very heavily like that, but... I wonder if that carries over, if you just reload. If you just reload the save before you uh, did, did the uh, credits. And if it does, then I will... I will try my best to not get hit by anything there. I'll, I'll do it until I don't get hit. And then I'll dr er, reload the save and go back to Snowden and see if that door is open. If it's not, then I'll just re Well, if it's not, then I'm kinda fucked because I'm gonna have to do it again. And then do another run. But I don't really want to do another run. I'm just, I'm convinced that I should just like look up what the door actually has in it because I don't think it's much to show anyway. Like so many people have it. So many people have like things people didn't do in Undertale videos, and that's uh, part of uh, pretty much most of them. So I don't think it's really most of a point to do it, but I just want to see it from in in person, you know, as opposed to having to look up a video of it. Like, oh, this is cool, but I didn't really react to it because you know I didn't do it. Which is more lame than other things can be. 
Felt like I heard background noise there for a second, but I did not. It was my imagination, because I'm a paranoid fuck. Oh, is this a car? <laughs> Never mind. I'm so distracted usually. I have to take one ear off the headset because hearing this constantly with the volume it is right now is kind of annoying. <laughs> uh, I need to actually check my audio to see if it changed anything else when I... Wow. Yeah, sorry for a second. Oh, that's so loud. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's change my audio here while I'm farming. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Basically, like, it went down to 82 because I changed the setting on the headset itself. And for some reason, uh, the um, the adapter thing that plugs into the PC with USB, like, it changes the audio of the system itself, not this, not this own audio, which is really annoying, obviously, because <laughs> you kind of want to be able to do that, because it makes it a lot easier to deal with stuff. But yeah, whatever. Such is life, I guess. At least the audio's fixed. There's no reason to really need to worry about is the audio being fixed. I just wish the headset had like its own volume button because I'm using like a cost headset right now, it's super old cost headset. And like a really nice keyboard and stuff, like it's more durable than the other pair I had. It's a really nice headset to be honest. Like if you all you need to need, need to do is listen to music, then freaking buy a cost headset. It's pretty damn good. Like they're small. Like they're really really small. Like you could just fold them together and then I take no space whatsoever. So I don't see what the point of having gigantic as uh, headsets if you can just you can't just buy one of the smaller ones. They are good quality and last longer than most big heads that do. Unless like you're super good at treating them. If you're bad at treating stuff then a cost of this is probably good for you. Because the cable is bendy enough that it doesn't really matter if you do st stuff to it. It's nice. I should have a brand deal with cars, obviously. Is it done yet? I wonder. Come here. Nope, I'm not done yet. Okay, so there's not a lot yet. There's not can't be a lot more enemies left here. Because that took a lot. It took a long time for that to do its thing. So I think it's only one more. And then I can keep moving on. And also I'm gonna get the spider cider. Because there's something I have use have use for it for. Not for healing, but something else in particular. That is pretty cool and pretty practical. Well not really practical, but it's it gives you a cool a thing. I'm not gonna say it. Oh, that's gonna be annoying to like talk without spoiling anything. Well, I'm pretty good at not spoiling, so I think we'll be fine. But, you know. the last one. I bet you that's the last one. We will know because the save point will have a different message when we are done. I mean there's also another way to fight now but you know. I'd rather just do that with the thing that takes less time. Yep, it only says determination now. We have killed all the enemies in the ruins. There's nothing to worry about ever again. Well, except like being creeped out. <laughs> yep, here comes the... but nobody came. With the most... <sighs> The, it's a very atmospheric music. It makes you feel like shit. I still prefer butterscotch. Well, keep asking me. Stop asking me, please. Three out of four green rocks to make a man you push them. Yay. So yeah, basically, the music you're hearing right now, if you're even hearing it, it's a question, but... It's a slowed down version. Oh, I didn't read that. That's different dialogue. Damn it, I suck. Oh, it says that... Uh, mention some allergies or something like you don't have allergies or anything she doesn't say that unless you play genocide I'm pretty sure so that's like a specific thing but I should have just read it but I don't remember stuff so I'm just not gonna do it for now basically the music okay could you just move 
the music hearing right now is a slowed down version of Flowey's like your best friend theme. When you basically, the first time you meet Flowey, the music that you hear there is the music that you're listening to right now. Just slow down 1400%, I'm pretty sure. Or 1300%. I'm not sure which, but it's one of them. So yeah. It's very creepy, like it's very atmospheric and it's... It makes you feel like shit, basically. Which is... It's, it's pretty much... I'm pretty sure that's the point of it, so... Hats off to the... Uh, I was about to say Michael Fox. I mean, hats, hats off to Toby Fox. Not Michael. For making a really, really good atmosphere for being an asshole. <laughs> Hello. Did you like... Leave me alone. <laughs> I clicked C like 50 times, please. Uh, the thing about genocide is it... Free, it gives you so many random encounters, even though there's nothing to bump into, just to make you even feel even more like shit. Like, ugh. I love the hell out of this game. Just that it makes you f like a game, a JRPG that makes you feel like shit. Like, there's very few of them, <laughs> to say the least. We have Earthbound. Like, we have the Mother series. There's a lot of stuff you feel like shit about there, but not to the f not to the point where you're just murdered literally everything in the entire. Assistance of the underground. Yeah, that's very depressing. It like happens every five seconds too. It's insane. I wish it didn't happen. <laughs> because it's like super annoying. Stop! I killed you. Stop bumping into me, please. Yeah. Oh, what am I doing? I clicked two. I was about to click two switches. Like my brain, my brain went. Oh, you only went to the next room. Just click the green switch. No, that's not the case. I didn't do that. Please, game. Please, just stop encountering me. Nothingness. That'd be great if you just stop encountering me. I said stop encountering me. You son of a bitch. That's so annoying. Stop. Oh, I'm gonna go insane if that keeps doing that. Come on, make it through the next room. Make it to the next room. Oh, we're out of the enemy spawns. That is so horrible. Like, if you if you ever get stuck on a puzzle during genocide, you're basically fucked because you're gonna keep getting random encounters by nothing, and it's just the most annoying thing in the freaking universe. I can't understand why they didn't make it like that. I mean, to make it feel like more like shit, sure, that makes sense. Oh dear, that took longer than I would thought it would. I can't even speak. Well, I already just go through all of this. Yep. Ah, oh, some proper music. Ah. Oh. Fuck your game. I expected that to go on a lot longer than it did. Please give me the good music. Ah, I can now rest. Do you smell that? Surprise! It's the butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. This is it. A room of your own. While you go check on the pie, I'm gonna go... Check on the sink. I was about to say check on Toriel. Well, she's very fast at uh, making sure the pie doesn't burn, that's for sure. Now, this is one of the most, like, terrifying things about genocide. We are the knives! Yep, that's Chara, the character I'm playing, talking in first person. When everything else is in third person ever. Just reading that. Ugh. It's fucking... You feel like something's very, very wrong. And there is something very wrong. You're playing genocide. That is wrong in itself. Um, well... I'm gonna turn on the freaking sleepy music. Actually... Actually... Okay, no first person yet. I like, I really like the music box thing when you turn off the light, it's really cool. I love it. Soriel's diary, read the circle past. Okay, it's the same, it's the same, it's the same. Wait, is there anything else I can say in red text here? No. Yeah, this is still in third person. Hmm. Wait. Okay, yeah, it's the same. Because I'm like, I figure there's something different here, but it's for all I for, for all I've for all I've seen, it's just, uh, it's just a. Uh, my brain isn't working right right now. Oh yeah, that's right. 
this is a really cool thing you do. Uh, I played this game with Raven the other day, and he just did this the entire time. It's dangerous to play here. It just comes up with different reasons every time, and it's hilarious. Might as well do it now that we can, right? It's drafty here. You'll catch a cold. Ariel, let me move, please. It's dusty here. You'll catch a cough. You don't just catch a cough, but that's a very good in excuse, I guess. Very imaginative. There is nothing to see here. There's a lot to see here. Stop lying to me. Do you want to read a book? Do you want to have a bad time? <laughs> you're gonna have a bad time if you don't let me go here. I do not like the game you're playing. But I do, so I'm gonna keep doing it. Why not go for a walk in the yard? I'm going for a walk in the fucking basement! Leave me alone! You're not gonna stab me, mom! Really now? <laughs> uh, actually walks all the way back to sit down and then comes right back in. Okay, yeah, that's the last dialogue option. Where he has just like, what the fuck are you doing, face? Okay, let's talk to tutorial. I'm playing genocide. I'm not gonna feel bad about this. I feel bad enough everything else about everything else. Like, what would I care? I'm probably gonna have to make uh, Sullen play this game. That'll be amazing. I love the home music. It's very good. It's very, very interesting. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Yes, I do. And we already read all this dialogue, so let's move on. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. They die. Yep, that's pretty much a good summary of what you said. I'm gonna try stopping you, because that's what I like doing. Do you want to leave so badly? Because yada yada yada, go fuck yourself out of fight. <laughs> that's my brain autopiloted. Autopiloted? That's not what it's called. But I'm gonna do something that gives me a betray kill. Because I feel like that's more appropriate than just killing her right away. Let's just get to the point where she does the dialogue she did in Pass Fist and then stops attacking me and everything. I'm just gonna keep getting hit because it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna stop attacking me eventually. We all know this. That never changes. Might be an asshole, but wow, you really can't hit me, can you? <laughs> she really just missed me at every single one there, not in on purpose. That's great. Attack run away. I will not attack, and I will not run away. I'm an asshole. I will not run away. Yep, she stops attacking me then right away, so she can't damage anymore. So I can just keep spamming that. Fight me or leave. Fight me or leave. I'm not gonna stop. I'm doing this for my own good. <laughs> for your own good. Well, not really. I'm doing this for your own doom. But, hey. <laughs> just have to kill you for a second, and then when I get your trust, I'm gonna just smash you in the face with an axe. Like I would, you would probably do. Okay, now we kill her. Twenty-two thousand damage. He, <laughs> you, at my most vulnerable moment. To think I was worried you would not fit in out there. <laughs> you really are no different than them. Ha ha. Ha. Ripping pieces, ripping pepperoni. Yep, it's sad as fuck, but I've already done this, so... I've been emotionally drained, so I can't feel any emotions anymore. I just really wanted to record this, so... And besides, I'll put highlights of stuff I did in the original playthrough of Genocide, and I recorded... Uh, recorded... like, initial reactions to stuff, but anything else is... Haha, <laughs> you're not really human, are you? No. You're empty inside. 
just like me. In fact, you're Chara, right? Yep. We're still inseparable after all these years. Listen, I have a plan to become all powerful. Even more powerful than you and your stolen soul. Let's dest destroy everything in this wretched world. Everyone. Everything in these worthless memories. Let's turn them all to dust. That's like the o one of the only actual like voicing things in the game. It's that and Metatons. Oh yes. That's really the only things you hear as actual voices. Which is cool. Undertale. Considering that I started like 30 minutes ago and I'm already out of the ruins. You can already see how fast it is to just do this. Because you don't have to bump in all the enemies. It's super easy. Now suddenly we're outside. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Yep. There's a lot of cameras hidden in this game. Oh. The old goosebumps of this sound effect. Don't you just love them? Yep, you broke your stick. Thanks, Sans. That's fun. You just, like, kill me already? Like, come on. I'm a miserable... There we go. I didn't realize it actually had walking sound when he popped in there. But it does, apparently. Oh, the goosebumps. Oh, Christ. Fucking... Christ, every single hair on my body is standing up right now. Because that sound effect is so... Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Aha, uh -huh, it's Jokes McGee. <laughs> Those whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. That's, uh, your coup to laugh. Or, uh, do you mow it at all? Gee, lady, you really don't have to pick him. Uh, okay, that's fine. We're almost got their own sense of humor. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be a watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now, my brother, Papyrus. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My brother made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, buy that in the shaped lamp. Uh, okay. I guess you don't have to. Sans, have you found a human yet? Yeah. Really? Wowie. I guess that's settled. <laughs> that's uh, there is every time. That worked out, huh? Are you just gonna stab me or Yeah. Well, I'm gonna straightforward with you. I really, really like to see a human. So, you know, it really helped me out. You kept pretending to be one. Oh Slow down snowy music. Here comes the depressive part of the genocide route. Sixteen left. Alright. I'm level six, damn. Do, 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 do. And the butterscotch pie. Actually, I'll put on the tough club real quick, and then I'll organize that, because I want all the good healing items on top. Because the butterscotch is like the best healing item, basically. So I can do this, 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 and then I'll actually put away spider cider too. Just have it in an order, you know. It's nice and f nice and neat. Dun -dun. Snowdrake flutters forth, and he's gonna die. That sound effect, though. Damn. And there's no point in going up there, by the way. There's not really anything to see. I love the freaking like walking animation in one spot, it's just like, cause fuck it, right? <laughs> Dead. That's how easy it is to kill a snow cap or ice cap. Cap. I don't remember what his name is actually. You'd think my memory would extend to more than two seconds, but apparently it does not. Oh, that sound effect. Wow, you just straight up went right off. Why would you jumped again? I didn't know we could actually jump twice. Basically, the stick is an item you can use. Like, the stick in the chest here, 
If you use that in a fight against any dog enemy, they will just stop. They will just be put you right in the spear phase. Which, really, it's pointless to do, since you had to do two moves anyway. Like, you do that, and then another move. And then another move, because you have to kill them, which means you have to attack them twice. Unless they get instantly killed by it. I just don't know yet. I, they, they might be. I don't know. I don't think they do, though. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I come to speak with you again. Also, low, have you get the same? No matter what you do, if you do genocide or neutral, if you kill Toriel, you still get to level six, no matter what. So, like, really, <laughs> kind of weird. How they set it up like that? Like, oh, you kill those enemies, doesn't matter because you kill Toriel, so it gives you six levels anyway. <laughs> Only forty-eight minutes. Damn, this is really fast. <laughs> Like, it's really, really fast. I'm not sure if I want to put this in one, as in one, in like, one video. Just have it inside its own video. Or split it up into two parts, depending on what happens. I might just split it up into some, like, it's not like a million parts, like, three or four parts, depending on what happens. Like, if I get my ass kicked, then I'll probably have to make it longer, or I mean more separate videos. If it's, like, quick enough, I'll just make two or something like that. I feel like that makes sense. I really, really love the freaking fight music in this game. It's really, it's really good. Especially since it actually has its own, like, predecessor. It's like... It's like a very, very toned down version of it. It was just like anticipation or something like that. I think it's called anticipation. And then it, every fight afterwards is just that music. Oh god. Alright. Dead. Fun times in store. Yay. <laughs> it's this, let's be honest, this is never going to be a fun time. It's going to be a really bad time. I wish I wasn't so fucking paranoid, because I keep checking behind me on, like, listening for noises. Yeah, let's just have one air plug in, because I'm not gonna risk myself being insane of some sort. But yeah, I might as well talk about it now, since we have so much air time to kill. But, uh, basically my computer died um, after installing the new heatsink, which is like a gigantic, like, a gigantic... Um, Really, really good quality heatsink, which we are still using now, but uh, we're trying to put it into the old system, but this didn't work. It was like really problematic. Actually, no, it didn't. We put in a new stock fan because it almost clouded up with so much dust, and it started like malfunctioning. If it, even if we removed all the dust, it still wouldn't work right. So we removed that out, and then like the computer ran great. Like there was no issues at all, and then so I was like, okay, whatever. So on Saturday we had a show, which actually had a we actually had a uh, Scottish wrestler. She was a really she's really cool. Like I actually had like a conversation long conversation with her in the car back to like back home because we were we were going the same direction. So I was like, okay, I'll hop in. We got stuck in the parking lot for like ten minutes because the machine didn't work, and then all kinds of stuff happened. But so we had a lot of time to kill by just talking, and she was really, really, really cool. Just her name is like... Uh, I'm gonna, of course I'm gonna forget about something like that. Nikki Storm, there we go. She's a really, really cool wrestler. And it was really entertaining too, in the in the ring in general. She makes the most adorable screams, and like, I couldn't help but laughing at a couple of them. And like, she really just lives into it. It's great to see that people are still a lot of, I guess, indie people that are actually like getting the leap into being more famous. Like, because there was rumors that she was going to NXT, so I can legitimately say I've met a uh, wrestler from NXT when she gets there and be like, "Hey guys, are you jelly?" Yeah, it was just, it was a great night. But 
uh, I came home and I noticed that the cover of the PC was off. I mean, the same panel. So I was like, oh, whatever, it's probably just something being malfunctional, I don't know. Or, like, I don't know, maybe it was like fixing stuff and something went wrong. So I went to bed, then I woke up. I opened up this, uh, op open, uh, removed the sign panel and looked at what was wrong in there. And then I just noticed that the power supply was plugged off, so I plugged it back in and turned it on and then to check what the fuck was going on, because obviously if the computer stopped working, it's good to know. So I turned it on, and it, uh, five seconds went by and it shut off. And then it turned on again and five seconds went by and shut it off again. And it did this like ten times in a row, and I was like, okay, something's obviously wrong. So I plugged out the power, I mean I turned the power supply off, plugged out the power, and I was like, what the fuck's up with the computer? Uh, it doesn't work. Sort of response I got. And I was like, oh fuck. So, I guess the CPU died. Because the CPU had been mistreated by bad cooling for a, a few years. Because the thermal paste had dried out in the first year that the computer was. Uh, after the computer was built. And then at that point, like, nothing was done with it. It was just kind of sitting there. And I was actually looking at it, looking at the computer myself one day. Before we got the, the, the new fan. And then, like,. The freaking the terfilum paste that made a tree-like formation on the <laughs> CPU. I was like, oh god, this is not good. So we changed out the thermal compound and then put in a new stock fan on our uh, on our. Um, I mean, a new heatsink with a new stock fan on to our CPU, and it worked great again. Like I played TF2 and it didn't overheat once, even though there was no extra airflow, and like everything worked fine. And then the day after that again is when, like, it stopped working, and I had just gotten home from the show. It was like three three a.m., and I was like, I need to get some sleep. I'll just look at this tomorrow. So obviously that's why I didn't I didn't record any at all <laughs> in that time period of like a couple or up to three weeks that I didn't really see much being uploaded or anything at all. So that explains why that is. And uh, this new computer has. Um, a bit better specs, that's to say. Because you have, a, you have a freaking Skylake CPU, like, that's a lot better than the one we had for for sure. It's like one of the top, top, top ones in the market. And that's pretty exciting to have, obviously. Okay, this is gonna take a while, so I'm gonna click out of the screen so I don't have to keep pulling my fingers. I can just sit back and relax, I guess. So we... We obviously, we, we ordered a, a, an extra, like, super, like, huge-ass heatsink with a, like, it's a custom, like, cooler and everything. And like, that's what's installed in the system right now, it's gigantic, like you can't see anything in there through the little hole where the, uh, where the air intake used to be. Like there's no space there anymore. You can only see the top of the heatsink. And it's like, this computer's never gonna heat overheat again with that in there, that's for sure. And like, of course, Skylake CPU, 6700K 6, Core i7, and we have a, um, I was about to say Asgore, no. Um, as rock, wow, I didn't realize those were really similar. As rock motherboard uh, with uh, support for DDR4. So we have DDR4 in the system, which is obviously going to be a bit faster than DDR3, to say the least. A lot more expensive. And I'm getting cold right now. I'm going to mute my mic. Yeah, me. Yeah, how about not calling me in the middle of something? That would be great. I had it on... I knew someone was going to end up calling me. That always happens for a record, but never outside of recording. Is that someone started to call me. So I was like, okay, I'll put it on sound and no sound. But at least I didn't have to sit there and wait without doing anything through that thing. It's just annoying how I have to take a little pause there. Of course, I still have full monster candy. I'm, I guess I can use it. So, Zans, what's the human showing up? I want to look at my, look my Sunday best, or at least my Tuesday pretty good. Don't you, don't you have only one outfit? 
Yeah. Well, I can style my hair. Oh, right. Good idea. Say, why don't you look over there? Fans, oh my god! I'm dizzy. What am I looking at? Behold! Oh my god! Why are you telling me to look at the rock? Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! I have no idea what that is. Well, it's not a rock. Not a rock? Oh no! My process of illumination! That means it's a human! Ahem! Human! Prepare yourself! For hijinks, for logics, dangerous puzzles, capers, shapers, being captured, and other sorts of other activities. Refreshments will be provided. If you dare. <laughs> you don't even bat an eye, huh? But nobody came. Back to depressive mode, yay. Also, there's a camera behind the sentry station. I don't understand how that would be able to film me since it's behind the sentry station, but whatever. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. Uh, uh, hey! I can't stop shivering all of a sudden! Who- who's there? <laughs> that was almost a one shot. Don't move an inch. I'm moving! <gasps> how do you feel about me moving? Wow. Perfectly centered every single hit. GG. Well, he's dead. That's good. I was just about to slide up, and he did that last time I played too. It always gives me an encounter right here when I try to like slide up the ice, and it's really annoying. I think they might have done that on purpose, to be honest. Hello, I'm a snowman. I cannot move. Traveler, if you could get the snowman, please. Oh me! Oh my! What are you doing? Soon there won't be any of me left. You got snowman, please. Stop, please. I got snowman, please. A useless pile of snow. Yep. Just to give you like an image of how monsterish I am. <laughs> You're so lazy! You were napping all night! I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses! Oh, the human arrives! In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles! I think you will find this one quite shocking! For you see, this is the invisible. Uh, hmm, you must be having culture sack. You see, where I come from, it's a loving tradition to suffer through horrible puzzles for no reason. So, uh, just walk back there and... Sigh. How couldn't we get a human that likes puzzles? Can we make my brother ha- uh, bro- <laughs> it said pappy. My brother happy if you played along. Can we make my brother pappy happy? Oh, I wonder if that's in my stream. No matter anyway, it's not like I need it. I'm like the opposite, really. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. There's a hole here. Nice. When you play normal run, it says a lot more than just a hole. Human, I hope you're ready for all! Sans! Where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they'll skip this one. Sans! There they doing that did nothing! Whoops. Knew I should have put down Junior Jumble instead. What? Junior Jumble? Finally! Something we can both agree on! <laughs> Guess you don't like word sources, huh? Me neither. I'm more of a funny pages kind of guy. Anyway. <laughs> yep, it's still the same. It would be really f pretty. F Why well, I can't speak? It would be pretty funny if it wasn't the same. I don't even have excessive energy. I don't know why I'm like this energetic right now. It's really disturbing. Distracting, rather. Also, there's a switch here. It's been depressed with wines. So as you might be able to tell, Fowey is actually helping us through these puzzles. Yep. Makes it even more depressing. <laughs> What's that smell? Why is that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell of... <laughs> I love that. Hmm, here's that weird smell. Makes me want to eliminate you. Eliminate you. 
don't know what to know is to give this guy's really here. No, I was gonna attack the other one. Because that's a good way of doing this. Oh whoa. Oh whoa. Oh whoa. <laughs> I find it funny how people I did it again. I just spam Z, I did it every time. Just keep doing this attack, I guess. It's not like it's a bad thing. It's super easy. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. I suck at it though. <laughs> Don't touch my hot dog. He meets me. Well, we already meant anything else. Don't touch my action. It did it again! Ah, uh, My brain doesn't work, apparently. Ne neither does this attack. It doesn't work. <laughs> well, it did work for a second. I did it again! Can I stop doing that? That'd be fantastic! Okay, for now I'm just gonna sit there and actually think about what I'm doing. That's more like it. I don't suck for once. Well, I'm sure that if anyone watched that, they'll be pretty aggravated to the fact that I'm too stupid to like attack the right enemy. Wow, I need to be less stupid. Uh, did it, the pacifist really fuck me up so much that I can't attack anymore? Is that what this is? Because I don't even wait for it to go to the middle, I'm just gonna spam it. I know why though. I have a feeling I know why. Which I will not say yet, but I'll probably say it later. And he becomes sad because she's dead and he has no armor at all anymore, and he just instantly dies. If I had done that correctly, I'd probably shown that in a better way, but whatever. As you can see, this is already done. The puzzles are already finished. Including this one. Already finished. So I can just keep moving on. Wait, is this working on this side? It's watching the trunk of this tree. It's basically a instantly complete the puzzle switch. It's pretty nice. I'm sure I'm sure flower used those instead of actually doing the flower. I mean the puzzle. Hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle! It was made by the great! Are you serious? Sons! Help! They keep walking through my puzzles! They're, su they're supposed to let me explain them! Then threaten and baffle them with dangerous shapes! Well, maybe they don't like the shapes. Everyone likes shapes! What about that nine? Does she hate puzzles? She hates puzzles, but she loves shapes! That makes sense. Human! What do you think? Puzzles or shapes? Okay, this is normally the part. But you either agree or disagree. Depending on your answer, you say something great in response. Here, why don't you do this your puzzle yourself? This is a puzzle. This is a puzzle. I can't speak. <clears throat> hey, puzzles might be fun if you try them. Sure. It might be, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't play along with your bullshit. And the goat guy isn't here. Sorry, elk. Why did I say goat? I don't know what an animal is, apparently. I'm trying to go to the middle here, but apparently I'm struggling with it. Let's see, do we get a go do we get a cup of Pomeranian on their head? Oh, we get a normal ball. What's up? Yeah, this is just normal. So, yeah, it's good to know. Good to know that Sans is just normal. I want to get that gold, so I'm just going to do this. And this is a top off. This is how I raise a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Snow puff. Is it really a snow puff? Behold, a snow puff. Wait, what's this? There's very gold inside this. What is this? It doesn't say you pick it up. It just says there's gold inside of it. So I just, I don't even know if it gives it to you. Because I never checked. I probably checked that once. Cutie doggy. Big cute dog. You're not anything else cute by being big. Office. Also, if you stand still, this attack can't actually do anything to you. This is a sleeping dog. And if you wake it up, it'll attack you. By moving. That's pretty cool how that works. I got to hit him. Pretty good. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold! The Gold of Deadly Terror! Yay! When I say the word, you will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing wildly up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it! 
Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now. <laughs> that, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, they're probably going to walk through it. And it won't be any fun at all. Hmm, so this human thing was a bust, huh? Well, I mean, I'm excited to capture them. So I'll become a famous royal guardsman. But all the time I put into these puzzles. It's kind of like throwing a birthday card party. Without traps and fire. Exactly! It's pointless. Maybe you would write to be lazy about puzzles. Me? Write about something? Really? Yeah! What am I saying? You're still completely wrong. I just had the wrong audience. Think about how much fun and dine would have here. Flames, violence, it's right up your alley. I won't waste this puzzle on you. I just have to appreciate the friend I already have. Phew. A valuable life lesson. <laughs> I wonder if Flo is still actually following us, though. I know he... Yep, he's still following us, even though he's in front of us. Can I explain how that works? <laughs> hmm. Guess we didn't need your help to have a good time after all. Say, I've been thinking. Seems like you're going to fight my brother pretty soon. Here's some friendly advice. If you keep going the way you are now, you're gonna have a bad time. Yep. I bet I am. Wait a second. Okay, I need to check if this is actually a thing. Oh, it still says no then. Okay, that's weird. Okay, I played on the side with Seb. That sign was st still there, and then I went out of the area, and then I came back, and the sign was gone. Which does not make sense at all. Like, who would have removed it? And now, it's here now. I don't understand how the fuck that works. Doesn't make sense. Maybe I can take your gold real quick. I'll also take your manly bandana. Please don't hurt my family. Okay, I slow down music, you can just steal shit, and then there's nobody here because you killed them all. Or they all evacuated. Well, both are probably pretty likely. Use, and then I'll drop the old, old faded ribbon. Now, I'll drop all the snowman pieces in here. And this, I can, like, organize it better. So stick and bandage first. Then faded ribbon and toy knife. Then spider slider, I guess. I don't really need to steal anything from her. At all. There's nothing I need here. Like, this food is not good enough. Basically. Well, I, could, I could, like, take one... I don't know what I should do here, honestly. Like, this is not going to be good enough healing anyway, so I think I'm just going to not do anything about that. I would know since I've played it so many times now. Yes, merely a decoy. Yep. I want to check, because that's the thing I kind of missed. I never actually checked that. Oh, everyone ran away and hid somewhere. Man, adults can be so dumb sometimes, haha. Huh? Don't they know we're gonna die to protect us? Well, not for long, anyway. And nobody in here, as is the usual. Actually, the door. Froda, the door! You can't go through the fire exit because you're not paid a fire. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I guess it does. Is the guy still here? No answer. Okay, so it's not actually still here. Good to know. Ding ring. Hello, can I speak to Giga? Wait a second. Is this the wrong number? Oh, it's the wrong number. The wrong number song. We're very, very sorry that we got it wrong. It's the wrong number. The wrong number song. We're very sorry that we got it wrong. Okay, that actually is the same beat. Well. <laughs> the lyrics actually fit into the melody. I didn't. Okay. Cool. I just never tried. Lar library has nothing in it. Wait, what? There's the face here, too. I guess they really like that kid. <laughs> because I have his face everywhere. Mm. Let's go fuck up a party, eh? Because that's really our job right now. Hello, how quiet the system runs now that I have this gigantic ass heatsink on it. It's never gonna overheat, it's gonna be stay consistently quiet, and it's not gonna. It's. because. yeah, I should just. HALT, human! 
Hey, quit moving while I'm talking to you. Hi, the great papyrus. I have some things to say. First, you're a freaking weirdo. Only do you not like puzzles. But the way you shamble about from place to place. The way your hands are always covered in dusty powder. By the way, the dusty powder is actually the powder of dead monsters. You will know if you read one of the books in the library. It feels like your life is going down a dangerous path. However, path rather. Hi, Papyrus, see great potential within you. Everyone can be a great person if they try. You and me, and me I had to have to try it all. <laughs> hey, quit moving. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Human, I think you are in need of guidance. Someone needs to keep you on the straight and narrow. But worry not. Hi, Papyrus. I'll gladly be your friend and tutor. I will turn your life right around. Sure you will. As you are approaching, are you offering a hug of acceptance? Wowie, my lessons are already working. Hi, Papyrus. Welcome you at open arms. Bad choice. Alright, attack free, defense free. Forgettable. That's depressing. Like, I've actually never tried sparing. I feel like I should try once. Wait, that would be interesting, actually. Would he kill you? Oh, I really want to check. I really want to do it. Fuck it. Oh, you did it. So, to be honest, I was a little afraid. You are already becoming a great person. I'm so proud I could cry. Wait, wasn't I supposed to capture you? Well, forget it. I just want you to be the, to be the best person you can be. So let's just be by bones, be by bones. Even, I'll even tell you I have to leave the underground. Just keep going east. Eventually you'll reach the king's castle. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Reach the exit, you'll have to meet the king. The king of all masters. He is, well... Okay, it's just the same thing. Yeah. I really need to check. But of course, I'm not gonna let that save. I'm going to go back to before I even came to... Came to Paris. Because obviously I want to continue the actual run, but I really wanted to check. It was an interesting thing to check. They actually had the special dialogue, that's all I wanted to see. It was like, whoa, you aren't killing me. I am surprised. I am a skeleton. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and all the other stuff he says. I should always find it funny how this tunnel ends right next to her house in between the shack. Like, oh, everyone wants to go to them. Maybe they created the tunnels. You never know. They probably did. Because it's very technological and it literally teleports you all around. Yeah. Let's just skip this because we already did all this here, all this. Because we just did that. Now I'm confused on which mu what music this is. It slowed down something, but I can't. I can't. I don't remember what this is. I don't think I've ever searched it up. Forty-two thousand damage. Well, that's not what I expected. But still. I believe in you. You can do a little better. Even if you don't think so. I I promise. I could didn't even level up from that. Wow. They're really, really pushing the fact that Papyrus is weak, aren't they? <laughs> mm. Wow. Didn't even get experience from killing Papyrus. Not even a single experience. That's funny. Or depressing. Or whatever you would like to call it. Yo, you think it's here? Okay, I want to see this. It's strangely silent. Yep, because there's nobody even talking. Hmm. I mean, it's been an hour. I should probably stop here, to be honest. So I'll keep recording a different day, because as much as I want to record, like, um, further, like, at least an hour more, like, I'm not going to be able to be home alone. For like a good amount of time for it. I might actually just wait a couple hours and then continue. Not then I'll actually have some peace and quiet. But yeah. And next time guys. Continue this depressing fucking shit pile of a, ra of a playthrough in the next episode. Because for now I'm short on time. Anyways. If you enjoyed the video please leave a thumbs up. If you 
are also like super like into this game and like like uh, has some tips or anything then I guess that's cool I guess I, I don't really have anything to need tips for but if you leave a, you leave a comment thinking about what you thought about this episode or what you think about how this game is progressing so far because this is very 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 spooky and very 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 depressing and uh, it's probably going to be even more depressing but yeah and anyways, anyways guys until next time peace out have a great day I'll see you in the next video.